Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, 516. It's going to be sunny again today back in the 70s. It's going to feel very October, very fall like nice to be outside. We will be warming up this weekend. For those of you that missed the slightly warmer temperatures, it'll come back Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but boy, is it going to be even colder heading into next week? We'll take a look at that here in a second. Hurricane Milton. Oh, my goodness. A category five. This thing is holding on to winds of 160 miles per hour right now. It is expected to downgrade to a four or possibly a three before making landfall tonight and then making its way across Florida into the Atlantic Ocean and away from the United States and certainly far, far away from us as we put our spaghetti models on it. Not a big change from yesterday. Honestly, we'll zoom in a little bit closer here. Anywhere from Tampa to Sarasota seems to be the most likely place of direct impact, maybe between Sarasota and Fort Myers. But as you can see, uh, if you were on Florida's West Coast, you've got a lot of storm surge, a lot of winds and a lot a lot of rainfall on the other side of Florida. We've got tropical wave invest 93. This one uh, has brought some wind and rain to Florida over the past couple of days. It's now kind of gradually moving to the east. It will continue to move away from the United States. So some good news there. As we take a look at today, we've got clear skies. It's nice and brisk out there. It'll be a nice, very nice afternoon. As we go into later this afternoon, a few extra clouds from Milton, believe it or not, will impact some of us, but that's going to be it. We're not expecting any wind. We're not expecting any rainfall. Look Look at that. The clock is moving. Not a lot is changing. That's how clear we will be as we go into Thursday and Friday. Clear at night. Lots of sunshine during the day. There goes Milton as we go into Saturday. In the meantime, we are still clear and dry. Here comes Monday. Now late Sunday into Monday. We'll have another cold front that comes through. This thing is strong. It means business. It is going to be pulling down some Arctic air from Canada. And my goodness, are the temperatures next week going to be much, much colder out there right now. We have pretty dry air in place. You probably noticed you need a little moisturizer out there. If you haven't noticed, you will in the next day or two. But here comes even drier, much colder air as we get into next week. So just know we got a quick warm up this weekend, uh, but enjoy because next week is going to be downright chilly. Hey, as we take a look at our normal high, 76 will be about that. Today will be below the seasonal average Thursday, Friday. Here we go back up to above normal for two days. And then Monday is Columbus Day. It's a holiday. Don't forget that behind that much, much colder air.